Hello, Rainbow. What is going on guys? My name is James or thanks see ya and welcome back to another Minecraft mod spotlight and today we are going to be taking a look at the sword pedestal mod. So this is one of the smaller mods however in my opinion this is pretty awesome and you shall see why very very soon. So, okay, this actually only adds one item into the game, and as you might have guessed, it is called the Sword Pedestal. So let's see how we make the Sword Pedestal. Okay, this is the Sword Pedestal block here, and it's actually made from a gold ingot and three stone slabs. So, yeah, very simple. This is what it looks like, and then when you're ready, you stick it in the ground, and then when you've got a sword, you stick your sword in it. But there's more. There is more. Because I wouldn't just show you a mod that did this. This mod does some more pretty awesome stuff. And I shall show you right now. Oh yeah, welcome to my armory of awesome. Look at this Technicolor madness. Yeah! So uh, this is all achieved through this sword pedestal mod. And it's all actually due to this one block. Really, really cool. And do you like it? Hmm? Do you like it? Hmm? No, okay. Right, so let me get my, my demonstration golden sword out so I can show you a little bit about how it works. Right, so <laughs> where do I start? So what happens is, if you right click one of them with your sword, then it will put the sword in there. So that's the very basic level. Now, what happens is when you hold on the sneak button or the shift button and you right click it then, it opens the interface which makes the entire block customizable and you can do pretty much whatever you want and you know, you can make your sword look awesome. So. We're going to talk through this very quickly. The first one here is the FX. Now, with this box ticked, it makes your sword glow a little bit, much like if it was enchanted. So as you can see, like all of these sort of five swords now have the box ticked to have the little bit of a glow on it. Now, if you wanted to take that a stage further, you could have this floating icon. So if we tick the floating icon, you'll see now that the sword is floating in midair as well as glowing. And we also have the rotation, which is actually the uh, like the the actual sword block itself. So for example, let me show you that quickly. Where is it? There we go. If I put it down normally, it's this way around. However, if I rotate it 90 degrees, then it actually goes flat. So all of these are rotated 90 degrees. So yeah, that is it for the floating animation. And now the coolest bit in my opinion is the light beam. So if we click it like so, the light beam comes down from the ceiling. And I might actually turn this back one off here just so we don't get interference. There we go. Go. Okay, so now this light beam, as you can see, is white. This one is like a sort of bluey, greeny color. This one is red. And it's all done through these sliders. So these middle three sliders here determine what color your beam is. So let's go for a, I don't know, like a greeny color. There you go. As you can see, it's very green. Now, as well as that, you can also change the sort of ferocity of how bright that is. For example, that's off. And then you can turn it on to like quite weak, so you can actually see the sword fairly well. And you can also turn it up to like fully bright, this bright, so you can barely see the sword, but see the colours. So yeah, these kind of work off the beacon block principle, and uh, yeah, I think they look really, really cool. I imagine if you had an armory, then you could use these and have them all technicolored and awesome. Maybe something a little bit like this. Uh, but yeah, one more thing, actually, just very quickly, if I turn the light beam off. If you have the sword floating, you can also change the speed as to what it rotates. So uh, yeah, 16, it really spins around very quickly indeed. So uh, yeah, I actually think, if I remember correctly... There is one more thing that I haven't talked about, so uh, yeah, let me just check that crafting recipe very quickly, and I shall meet you back in a second. Ah yes, I remember! Ha! Ah. Okay, so I knew there was something in the back of my head that I saw when reading this mod, but I hadn't covered it just yet. And look at these guys, they're so excited! So am I. So for all of you Zelda fans, and this is a very strange way to start a sentence if you're talking about Minecraft mods, but uh, say we right-click this on the ground, and then we go into it, if we click on this basic pedestal here, boom, it changes into the Ocarina of Time pedestal. So this is pretty nice, and in my opinion, it looks slightly better than the default one. So let's just stick a sword in there, let's get a nice diamond sword, and then boom, there we go, and let's change it, let's go floating, let's go effect. Oh yeah, that is cool right there. So yeah, as well as the basic one, you can also have this Ocarina of Time design. Uh, just kind of a little thing there, but I think it looks pretty awesome, and uh, yeah... 
Really, really nice. So, it's, as I said, it is a small mod. However, I think that visually it looks amazing. And I think that anyone who plays survival Minecraft, this would really brighten up your base a little bit. And as well as that, I think we all know that when we play Minecraft for a long time, we have a ton of swords that we don't really use because it's more fun enchanting them than it is using them uh, until they break. So, yeah, this is a nice way to display your swords. Uh, I suppose you could put some on picture frames, but I think this looks super awesome amazing. So uh, yeah, that is it for this mod spotlight. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any ideas how to make this mod even better, then please leave them in the description below. Uh, I had a quick thought that maybe there could be a special type of block that like regenerated the health of the sword. Maybe if you fueled it with like emeralds or something. But uh, yeah, that was a little idea I had. But uh, yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching once again. Incidentally, if this is the first time you've ever seen any of my videos, my name is James, or thanks, see ya. And if you'd like to see a few more, it would be awesome if you considered subscribing to the channel or checking out some of my other videos. I do a lot of mod spotlights and loads of other stuff. And look at this sheep here, he's not got a care in the world. God damn it, where are you? Let me grab my sword. There we go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Once again, it has been a pleasure. As always, thanks, and see ya.